As part of his royal diary King Charles conducts numerous visits to towns and cities across Britain to attend events. Yet anti-monarchy campaign group Republic has highlighted that the cost of such engagements in communities falls on the local council. Earlier this year, the King visited Milton Keynes to celebrate its new city status, the day's events included a reception at the Milton Keynes Church of Christ the Cornerstone, a walkabout and a visit to Milton Keynes Food Bank. Republic drew attention to the cost of the engagements, writing on Twitter on Tuesday, Milton Keynes Council spent more than £6,000 on Charles' visit in February. Not a huge amount, but money that could have been spent on local communities and which should have been provided by the palace. Almost £6,000 was spent on a similar visit by the King and Queen Camilla to award city status to Colchester in March. Senior royals set for two years of tours in bid to protect Commonwealth If you can see the poll above, click here a freedom of information request, published by Gazette News, showed that the day cost Colchester Council £5,928. 50. This covered parking restrictions and pedestrian barriers, first aid care, catering, photography and hand-waving flags among other unspecified gifts. A council spokesman said the expenses were charged to the budget held for the civic office and events. Colchester Mayor Tim Young said that the cost of the day was worthwhile. He explained, I think it is a small price to pay for the prestige and the profile it gave Colchester and to celebrate the city status given to us. I think it would have been cheap at double the price. £6,000 is well within our compass and really good value. A lot of people enjoyed it, there were thousands of people who lined the streets. The King and Queen consort brought pleasure to many people and money can't buy that sort of thing. They were so friendly and engaging, we will remember it for the rest of our lives, 